This is a two-part drill to help improve your hip mobility. In the first part of this drill, we're trying to create some space in the back part of the hip in order to allow space for the hip to rotate. So if we can create some space in the posterior aspect of the hip, it allows us some more space to be able to internally rotate that hip. In order to do this, you're going to sit on a box or a bench with your hips bent at 90 degrees and your knees bent at 90 degrees. So my feet are directly below my knees. I'm going to grab a foam roller and place that just between my thighs and add a light squeeze on that foam roller. From this position, I'm going to slide one knee back and compare that to the opposite knee. So essentially, I'm moving my sit bones back. By doing this, I'm moving my pelvis relative to my hip or my femur. So this is a relative joint mobilization. And as I do it on the right side, it feels a lot tighter inside that hip. So this is the side I'm going to work on. I'm gonna hold that for about five seconds or at least one full inhalation and exhalation. And remember that whole time, I have a bit of a squeeze on that foam roller. This is a bit of a different angle. Again, my hips and my knees are bent at 90 degrees. I'm adding a little bit of a squeeze on that foam roller and then I'm sliding one knee back in relation to the other. And you can tell that my left leg will slide back a lot further than my right leg does. So that right leg is the one that I'm going to focus on. Again, about a five second hold. And try five to 10 of these on that side that you're focusing on. After using that drill to help create some more space in the posterior capsule of the hip, we wanna reinforce that by doing some hip internal rotation in a weight bearing position. In order to do this, you're going to go up against a wall and grab a kettlebell. If I'm working on that right hip still, then I'm going to use my left foot and put my heel against the wall. On that right leg, I'm gonna add a soft bend in the right knee and make sure that my weight is on the inside of my foot, so closer towards the foot where your big toe is. I'm going to use this kettlebell and go down into an RDL, shifting back into that right hip and I'm aiming for the outside of that right foot. You should feel a very deep stretch in the back side of the right hip. Once you get down to the bottom, take a deep breath and come back up. Again, weight is just on the inside of that right foot. I'm going down into an RDL towards the outside of my right foot. Deep stretch in that right hip. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below.